How's it going everyone? For this video, let's go ahead and go over the Safari, well it's not really Safari, the web browsing capability that the series Apple Watch is capable of doing. So as long as you're running the latest watch OS, which is watch OS 5 or newer, you should be more than capable of doing this. Just keep in mind, the loading time and speed may vary depending on the model you're using, but if you have the series 4 and also the series 3, you should be perfectly fine. So the on-demand web browser is a bit of a unknown feature. Since there's no dedicated app for this, like a Safari app, the only way you could get a web browser to pop up is by either texting yourself a link or clicking on a message like an email for example, and then it will bring up a web browser. Now depending on the watch, your loading time might vary. And if you have the LTE app watch, you should be able to connect to internet just like you would like on a regular cell phone. And but in our case, we're just connecting this with Wi-Fi or our smartphone. So as long as you have internet connection, you'll be perfectly fine. But as I just showed you, there's a few ways you could do this. A method I personally like doing to bookmark some of these links, like social media links, for example, I like to send myself an email and flag it. This way I don't have to go on my text messages and scroll all the way down to the day I sent myself that link. Doing this method, this route, I can always know where this link is going to be located and eliminates the hassle of doing all that or remembering to send yourself a link. Now you might be asking yourself, why would I ever need to use my Apple Watch to go on Safari when I could just use my phone? That's a good question and I'm sure we all live many different lives like some of us might have a job that requires us to leave our phone in a locker so during a lunch break or a short 15 minute break at least you could actually use your watch to check on social media and if you're in class i'm not saying you can you could also do that without getting caught so yes already if you could imagine there's multiple different purposes and why you want to know about this and if you 3D press on the screen, you have all the features like you would on a traditional web browser. You got your back, forward, you can also reload as well as change it to reader if you're like just reading text off of Wikipedia or something for example. Now a tip that I personally like doing is just go ahead and send yourself a link to Google. By using Google, you pretty much have access to the web browser search link where you could just enter uh, let's say your flight times for a flight or if you want to quickly search up something like an article on on Wikipedia, you can. Although it is limited, of course. So for example, you can't watch Netflix, you can't watch YouTube videos off this. It's mostly just a miniature size Safari. But when it comes to checking out your social media pages, it works perfectly. And I'd rather do this because technically this is a full access to Instagram, for example. And I've seen some other apps that sell on the App Store and they usually cost $2 and they have limitations. With, by doing this, this is a quick, great walk around from having to do all this. Well, there you guys have it. That was just a quick overview rundown of how to use a web browser on your Apple Watch. If you guys found this video useful and informative, you know what to do. Really appreciate if you could leave this video a big thumbs up and also get subscribed as I pretty much cover anything tech related. I always just enjoy sharing it all with you guys so make sure to stay tuned for a ride and yes there's plenty of more Apple Watch videos coming out soon. So until then, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, peace.